guys, how's it going? This is different scenery this time, isn't it? <laughs> well guys, today I want to talk about poles and concrete. Yeah, so right after the intro, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah! Now, if you guys can remember, I think it was last year, I'd done away with my grapevines. But I had something that was going to be a problem to get out of the ground. And they were poles. Now, right through here sat three different poles, right? Not anymore. No. I dug them out yesterday. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Or better yet, let me show you. I still have three poles left. But let me show you one of them. Here's one of them poles. They're stainless steel poles. And they're in the ground about two and a half feet of concrete. That's right. This one is leaning. It's a little bit loose, so that one might not be too hard to get out. But let me tell you, the other ones were a bear. So, what I did was, I came back here yesterday with the idea, it's time, time to remove them. Right about there is where that pole stood. And there's what's left of the old grapevines. The grapevines died about two years ago, that's why I got rid of them. But anyway, right there is where that pole stood, so we dug around and we had to dig a hole about three feet deep. Had to wedge it around, finally got it up. And once we got it up, I took a sledgehammer and busted the concrete off. <sighs> it was a freaking job. Now here's the three poles. Now this one has something else tied to it, as you can see. But this right here is one of the stainless steel poles. Another one over here, it's kind of leaning. Then the one I showed you before. Now when it comes time to dig them out, I'm going to have to do the same thing on the th exactly what I did on the other three. I'm going to have to dig down about three feet, get it where I can just pull it out of the ground and take a sledgehammer and bust the concrete off. That's the only way you can do it, unless I had a backhoe, but I don't have a backhoe. There's that little turd. That little turd right there, guys, almost got hit by a car. Yeah, at the end of this video, I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, I got plans for this. I'm hoping to open most of this up one day. Now you see these uh, big rubber mats right here? These were here in front of the grapevines to keep the weeds out of the grapevines. So what I'm going to have to end up doing is I'm going to have to drill a hole in one, you know, each and every one of these. Hook them up to my lawn tractor. Now I'm going to pull them over, over here. Let me show you. I'm going to pull them over there. That way they can be in front of my, uh, little, my little weed area or my little stick area. The reason I gotta dig them up, dig a hole and pull with the lawn tractor, them things are heavy. Let me show you some other things too. This is one of my cherry trees. Guys, it's dying. Yeah. I was looking at it yesterday, it's pretty much dead. So I'm gonna probably end up getting rid of that one. Now I got the tree right here, an elm tree. I'm gonna leave it, and of course, right beside the elm, right there, is one of them poles, and right over there is one of them poles. I'm going to eventually take them out probably next week. Here's another spot of one of them poles I took out. It was right in there. That one wasn't too bad to get out. That one slightly, well, it wasn't easy. It was still time consuming. Took me about an hour and a half on each pull. Yeah. But here's future plans more, or more future plans. Learn to speak, Bubba. Don't you love my amateur videos? Now, my cherry tree right here still has some life to it, so I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to weed every bit of these out. This isn't this year though, guys. I'm not going to mess with this until probably next year. And farther back there is another darn honeysuckle tree, which I'm going to completely get rid of. See, my whole plan is to open every bit of this up. Every bit of it. Now, i got to tell you something else about these poles. Once we got them all up and pulled out of the ground, I'm sitting there, Angie looks at me, she says, Michael, I just now thought of something. Don't know, don't get your hopes up, but we could sell them for scrap. I was like, no. She's like, yeah. Guys, I took them three pulls down and got 58, 54 or $58. I think it was $54 for all three of them pulls. No joke. Now, down inside my wood pile, there's actually more than pulls. Because years ago, I remember just not putting some there. Yeah. We found them around the yard, so we put them in there. We didn't know what to do with them. So I might dig them out, put them with the other three. I'm going to pull out and take them and scrap them. 
Guys, it's not bad taking your junk and getting money for it. I mean, I was happy yesterday. I was like, you know, I was happy I got them out of the ground. And then when I found out I could sell the darn things, I was even more happy. I was like, yeah, that's like free money. Kind of. Well, I had to work to get them out of the ground, but still. Now let's walk up my monstrous hill and go topside. And I get to tell you what Stormy did. Yeah. Darn dog scared the crap out of my wife. Oh, yeah. So let me go ahead and get topside. I'm pretty much there now. And I'll tell you what Stormy did. Okay, I'm topside now. That little fart right there. Yeah. Now I've been doing a lot of work this morning, so I decided to go grab a nap, right? Well, Angie was out here on the deck, and she likes to come out and read her magazines. And we've been bringing Stormy out here, gosh, for a couple months now. Now, we have this all fenced off, and she's never tried to go through that or tried to get out, right? And we also use this, which I can't show you the way it used to be, but you've seen in my videos. She never tried to goof with that either. And plus, this little orange stuff, I kind of had round on, you know, a little bit on top. And she never messed with it before. Well, Angie was out here reading her magazines. She somehow moved that and went straight for the road. And Angie told her halfway, she's like, Stormy, stop! Stormy got to the end of this walkway and stopped. And when Angie got close, bye! Izzy and Ashley. When Angie got close, she dashed towards the street. And Angie hollered one more time, Stormy, no, sit! Thank God Stormy sat. She didn't go near the road, but she could have. And she got near that road, I have a dead puppy. She knows I'm angry with her right now. Something like that, I'm not going to forgive her for a while. She knows I'm a little upset about that. I want to lose my puppy. So what I did was about maybe, well, right after this happened, I got up out of bed, didn't get a really get a nap, took some more of this orange crap and tacked it up here. Now she can't go through there, it's going to be 10 times harder. But I also took some measurements. I'm going to be going down to the basement possibly this weekend and making a gate. Yeah. Uh, depending on how good the first gate turns out, I might make two. I'm no carpenter. But I'm sure I can redneck... <sighs> Alright. I'm sure I can redneck something together. Well, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have a weekend tip. It depends on what happens. But I will definitely have uh comment sunday now i'm making that saturday i'm doing i'm gonna i'm gonna make comments sunday saturday and of course air it sunday it's easier for me that way and the floor mat well i explain more about the floor mat on sunday so don't know if i'm gonna have a weekend tidbit we'll see have to see what happens you guys enjoy your friday and come on let's get out of here if you like today's video Hit that like button! If you're new to my channel, subscribe! You know, sometimes we have okay videos. So why not? Subscribe! Hit the like button! Yeah! Come on, let's get out of here. How do I get out of here?